Hello everyone, my name is Cammie and welcome to my channel, Cammie's Corner. If you're in my channel, welcome. If you're turning, thank you so, so much for coming back. On my channel, we do mainly Bath & Body Works and fragrance content with a sprinkle of lifestyle content. But in today's video, I have a small fall slash Halloween haul. Um, the candles were $12.95 this weekend. I usually don't participate in $12.95 candles, but I did get a 28% off coupon in the mail. Well, I didn't get it. My sister got, got it and she gave it to me. And it also came with a $16.95 coupon code. I did take pictures of like the mailers if you want to see them, but not of my coupon. And I forgot to take a picture of the 20% off actual code so I could use it online. So, oops, um, there. But I did get a few things because I had that 20% off. I took a lot of clips and pictures. Most of them are vertical because it's a lot easier and it makes me feel a lot more comfortable to take videos like vertically instead of walking around the store with my camera like that. I don't know. That's how I am. None of the employees care. The cashier is so sweet and she recognizes us because we go in there really often. Um, and she's very, very sweet. And I'm sure they notice that I film and they don't care clearly but i just don't want to disrespect anyone or get anyone else in the clip so i find it a little easier just to film in vertical so i will have um some clips and pictures up on the screen with some spooky halloween music so i hope you enjoy those clips hey guys i decided to do a little voiceover this is all of the stranger things candles that they had left and now we're going to take a look at some of the other halloween goodies this is like the front display table with the vampire blood and then here is the spooky hearse i did get a clip of like the full table as well no price points in this video or anything because you guys know i'm afraid to film in store um but if you want a really super detailed store walkthrough check out my friend chris at this guy's shops he does tons of store walkthroughs here we have the candy apple cauldron and then coming up in the next clip you're going to see a close-up of that halloween luminary very beautiful not worth the price in my opinion we have this cute bag i did slow down the clips because i was filming a little fast in the store um so i hope that is fine there's that beautiful sparkly luminary i love the packaging on the candle candy apple cauldron and yeah it's just a fine fragrance this is really beautiful i can't wait for our body care sale here's like a like a far back image of the entire display and then next we have this really cute cat candle holder very beautiful i will say a lot of the stuff looks so much more beautiful in person versus online which is nice to see here's this little spooky moon teeny like glass so fun and then here's a bunch of the different wallflowers that they had and then this one was really really beautiful as well and then here we have the ghoul friend fine fragrance mist the packaging is very pretty i'm not a fan of like the whole tentacle vibe they have going on so i didn't buy anything in the decor spoiler alert i didn't buy any decor or anything just because the vibe this year is not really my vibe but everything here's another video of the ghoul friend display this is so cute my husband was trying to put a candle on there and he almost dropped it oh my god this ghost you guys i wanted it so bad this candy apple cauldron candle beautiful 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 um the eyeball not a fan this was super super cute up next you're gonna see a clip of us struggling to get the hearse pocket back holder to turn on make some press button to activate over oh, right here no nope, that's not a button am i stupid i felt so dumb that i could not figure out how to get it to work but we figured it out eventually i did take a few pictures and videos just like of the fall display i know these have been around for a while I'm a little late to the game, but I just thought the display was so beautiful in my small little store. And then lastly, I'm going to show a few different pocket back holders that they have. 
super super cute pocket bag holders this year i did not get any but they are super super adorable so yeah i didn't take too many clips but i did take a little bit my issue is this local store that i go to is on the smaller end um but when i go to the farther away store or like the mall locations it's so easy to film in those because there's either a lot of people so i don't feel like weird filming or like the stores are so big that there's not employees like breathing down your neck so it's a little easier to film but I did just spend, I think, $40. Yeah, just $44. Um, one of the mailer coupons was for a free body care item up to $16.95. Um, so I did buy an item. Unfortunately, this candle sale, I think, went up to $32.95, I think, which excludes all of, like, the fun Halloween, like, fun lids. They had pumpkin carving, ghoul friend, and the something moon teeny or something i got that candle spoiler um and then the rest of the scents are just in like those um more expensive candles so i couldn't even get those even though i wanted to but the first thing i'm pulling out which was my freebie i did get the candy apple cauldron and the shower gel i smelled it in the candle and i wanted it so bad my husband also wanted it but I told him, I'm like, we're not paying $40 for this because it was not the $12.95 candle. And he was very sad. Um, what do you guys think about that? I think that's so annoying. Like, I get it. They, like, just came out. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I think that's just weird to exclude certain candles. And I'm sure there are a lot of customers that are get angry and confused by it because um, they haven't really excluded the higher priced Halloween candles in the past from sales or at least from my understanding. So I don't know. But like I was saying, with price increases, a lot of the Halloween body care is above the $16.95 for that coupon. So I couldn't, I wanted the, a fine fragrance mist, but I couldn't. And I'm not going to pay full price for that. So as soon as there's a fine fragrance mist sale, I will be buying each of the Halloween scents for collection purposes. I'm working on reorganizing and decluttering, which is why these look empty and that shelf over there is empty. Um, I'm filming the process kind of, but filming the process makes it 10 times harder and take 10 times longer. So um, I will have a decluttering video as well as like an organizing video coming up soon, but it probably won't be my whole reorganizing process just because that's a lot on the brain. Um, and it takes so much longer because I'm like resetting up everything and like moving my camera and everything instead of just like working, you know. But anyways, um, hopefully there's some more sales soon. I would like to get the hand soaps as well as the body care. But anyways, I did get the candy apple cauldron. I did smell it in store. Absolutely love it. This is Mysterious Green Apple, Simmering Sugar, and Crystallized Bergamot. I loved this. I love this. I love that the lid is like matte too. Oh, it's so good. It smells like those like sour, sour apple. What are they? The suckers? Not the caramel apple ones. Just like maybe like an apple like jolly ranch or something it's very very sweet and it's got a little bit of like a sour note which i really really love very candy like super super fun and i love like the iridescent vibes and i love that it's green too so has to get that so unfortunately um my store was completely out of the stranger things candles um i have another store that's also local to me and i might have my husband call them because I didn't, I, I told my husband about the collection. He loves Stranger Things. Like he's got a bunch of the Funko Pops. He loves Stranger Things. I told him about the collection, but I don't think he realized like what it actually was until he like saw the pictures of it. Um, and it was too late because they're gone. Um, but they did have the Argyle pineapple pizza and he smelled it and he's like, I gotta have it. And he thinks it's really cute, like the packaging. So it says surfer boy pizza, try before you deny. And I know I did tell you guys, I was like, I'm not gonna get anything from this collection. But when hubby wants something, Bath and Body Works, we get it. Um, it's got this really fun red lid. They had about four of these. He wanted to get two and I'm like, I don't need two. And he's like, well, am I gonna be able to burn this one or is it for your collection? And I'm like, we could burn it a couple times and then um, unfortunately it'll have to like go into my collection because I just think it's so fun. But this is baked pizza dough, juicy pineapple and fresh basil. And I like the, um, like the sticker on the bottom is like cream colored. Like it's not white, it's cream. It's really nice. I don't know, it's very bizarre. You do get that like leafy basil note. 
with a little bit of dough. When I smelled it in store, I like instantly got pineapple and it didn't smell like pizza, but now it is really smelling like pizza. So bizarre. So bizarre. Personally, I wouldn't have picked this one up, but my husband just thought it was so cool being a Stranger Things fan. He's like, that's so cool. And like, um, with the Bridgerton collection, I know I've never seen Bridgerton, but I've at least seen Stranger Things. So I think it's kind of cool that they did that collab. I do wish I got the, I think it's Hopper's Coffee. I might call my other local store and see if they have them and just stomach and pay the $12.95. I should have just did a Bopus order on Friday, I think when they, or Thursday. Um, but I didn't know how they smell and I hate blind buying things like on Bopus and then having to return things. But I don't know, this, this candle's not for me, but hubby wanted it. So we got it another one that hubby has snuck in we were leaving and i'm like i don't even remember which one i get i got because sometimes i black out because i wanted to get a, a few new fall scents and i had picked out three candles and he's like oh we bought four candles and i'm like four he's like yeah i snuck one in the bag and this was his pick this is sweet whiskey which i'm pretty sure i have a three wick already but that's okay um i don't love the packaging on this one but we did grab Sweet Whiskey. This is Golden Amber Vanilla Infused Whiskey and Sweet Red Berries. This was Hubby's pick. He really loves all the like fall fragrances. He really wanted um, pumpkin pecan waffles, I think. But that one is like so nauseating to me. I can't do that one. But this is nice. Sweet Whiskey smells a little light and cold, but it's fine. Um, so we grabbed the Sweet Whiskey. Oh my gosh, I didn't even tell you. With my 20% off, the candles ended up being $10.36. So a little bit higher than Candle Day. I don't need any candles, you guys, but I wanted them, so I got them. Okay, and then the next two are new scents to Bath & Body Works, which the one candle I knew I wanted when they, um, uh, when I saw it in the Halloween preview, just because it's a new candle, um, and it's always fun when they do things that are different other than Vampire Blood and Ghoul Friends. So this is the Spooky Moontini with this really, really fun dark lid. I love the color of this. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it smells so good. I really like this one. This is Mixed or Mystical Berry Potion, Spectacular Sponge Sugar, and Spellbinding Citrus. I feel like I saw someone say... Is this a repackage of Enchanted Candy Potion? And I'm not sure. I think I have a single wick of that one. Um, I'll have to pull that out if I find it like while I'm organizing. But I don't know. It's just very sweet and candy-like. And I like it. And I think the packaging is kind of fun. I didn't love it like online. But like that's the thing with the Halloween stuff. It's all so much better. I didn't buy any decor or anything. Um, Because I really don't need anything. Uh... I have the Luminary and I have a Globe. So I feel like I didn't need to buy anything. I really wanted that cute ghost, but it was so light and like cheap feeling. So I didn't get it. But the other new candle for this year, at least I think it's new, is Pumpkin S'mores. I had to have this one. Um, it was funny because I walked in and I was looking around and I didn't see this collection. And I was like, oh, I really wanted Pumpkin S'mores. And my husband's like, oh, it's at the front of the store. You walked right past it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I got distracted by the little Stranger Things display. But this is the Pumpkin S'mores candle. This is roasted marshmallow, melted chocolate, and pumpkin graham cracker. I love anything s'mores from Bath & Body York. So I had to have this one. It's so yummy. It's like a spicy kind of chocolate scent. But that like pumpkin. Oh, it's nice. It is so nice. I really like this one. I knew from the scent notes of like online that I would like it. And I think the packaging is really cute. Um, and if you can tell, it's like kind of see-through in the leaf part. So I think, I'm thinking it'll be really pretty when burning. Ooh, yeah, I like that. That is very nice. That graham cracker note is excellent. Okay, so that was everything I got. Just a small little Halloween haul. Um, I guess more fall than Halloween, unless you think Stranger Things is Halloween than Halloween. Um, but my total was $44. I saved $85.31. This was free with the mailer coupon. And then each candle was $10.36. I don't think that's too bad. Um, just a little bit pricier than Candle Day, which whatever. Most of these candles probably won't be around for Candle Day anyways. And the candle selection at Sass hasn't been great. Like, I did get a lot of 75% off candles, but I feel like the fall candles just go super, super fast. So I was excited to get those, especially the Halloween candles. Those always go fast and rarely drop to 75% off. But that was everything for $45.
no decor no nothing the hearse was so cute the little hearse pocket bag but that's just not my vibe um yeah everything was really cute i kind of like stuck to my my original thoughts of that i wasn't gonna buy much from the halloween collection i do want the soaps and the body care um but like decor wise i'm probably good and i'm probably not gonna buy anything this year unless it's 75 percent off at size but that is all for my first fall haul if you guys enjoyed make sure this video a big thumbs up comment down below and let me know what you guys picked up during the 12.95 candle sale and if you like seeing my face bath and body works fragrance or disney content make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button because it's free to you helps me out so very much and you guys can always change your mind later thanks again you guys for watching today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye